I didn't really decide to come to Canada. It was uh, my parents that did. I was born in Poland, uh, in a city called Gdynia, right on the Baltic Sea, northern part of Poland. And uh, my father defected to Canada. He was working on transatlantic uh, commercial ships, and uh, fortune would have it that uh, they run out of fresh drinking water. And he stepped off the ship in St. John's, Newfoundland, and claimed uh, asylum, uh, asked for refugee status, and was allowed to stay in Canada. And Poland then was under a communist regime. Uh, my mother and my brother had to stay behind. Poland wouldn't release us for a number of years. And uh, finally, December 1st, 1982, uh, Polish communist authorities decided to, to let go of us, and we left. At that point in time, that was a one-way ticket to Canada. We couldn't come back again to Poland. Living in a system like that and then immigrating to a totally new country and not knowing a word of English and not owning virtually anything uh, makes you grow up really fast. Uh, you mature much faster and you appreciate any, uh, any opportunity that flies your way because you actually recognize them as opportunities. Uh, you know, when, when something new arrives, uh, some new possibility uh, emerges, uh, you recognize them right away because it's such a star stark con uh, contrast to what you didn't have uh, back home. So it, it makes you uh, much more entrepreneurial, I think. Uh, it makes you maximize on every opportunity uh, that comes along. Leaving Poland was really interesting because we were given a, a what was then known as a consular pass passport, a one-way uh, exit from Poland, and uh, a limit of 35 kilograms uh, was placed on our family, on my mom and, uh, and my brother. So we had one suitcase, literally one suitcase, into which we had to pack. So my mom made sure that we only packed the essentials. Um, so my quota uh, was uh, to take a textbook that was given to me by my teacher who insisted that uh, I never forget my language. And uh, so I took my uh, that's a great uh, seven uh, Polish textbook that I packed with me, and, and I used to collect post stamps. And uh, so I took a little album of, uh, of post stamps, and that's all I could take uh, with me. My brother, I believe, he took a teddy bear. Uh, he was only five years old, and, and those are the sort of the two treasures that uh, that I got to bring over here. To be a first immigrant, or at least the first immigrant in 80 years uh, to be a premier of Alberta, to me personally, it would be a very humbling experience. Uh, obviously, it's, it's rare. Uh, obviously, it is not something that uh, many immigrants had an opportunity to even aspire towards. You know, the, the very virtue of the fact that I'm running for the position of premier is already very humbling. It would be a reminder that uh, Canada is a welcoming country that offers opportunities to anybody, and, and I hope uh, it would inspire other immigrants from any corner of the world to do their best in whatever it is uh, that they aspire. Um, there aren't many places in the world uh, that would give an opportunity to a newcomer to run for the top office in government. Um, I'm not so sure if I would be able to do this in my country of origin, and yet here in Alberta, uh, not only is it possible, but Albertans embrace that, and that tells you what a great welcoming province this is.